We're over here at GoToMath.com working some uh, calculus. We are doing some implicit differentiation. And we're in this section right here. It says find y prime. So we've got to x squared plus y squared is equal to 4. So this would really be kind of difficult. We'd have to solve for y and then we'd have a plus or minus. And so we'd have, uh, you know, a piece, some pieces to work with. Um, so what we're going to do, this is written implicitly, we want to do implicit differentiation. And it's not that bad. I promise. So we have x squared plus y squared and it's equal to 4. Alright, equal to 4. So this is how this works. We take the derivative of x squared, which is 2x, plus the derivative of y, which is 2y. But when we take the derivative of y, if we're asked to find y prime, and we take the derivative of y, we're going to want to write y prime next to it. Okay, we're going to want to write y prime next to it. All right, and then we take the derivative of 4, and the derivative of 4 is 0. So now what we'll want to do is solve for y prime here. Okay, solve for y prime. And so that means we got 2y times y prime is equal to, take the 2x over, negative 2x, and then we want to multiply both sides by 1 over 2y. So we have y. Right, multiplying both sides by 1 over 2y. And we're left with y prime is equal to negative x over y. Negative x over y. All right. We may be also asked to find dy over dx, dy over dx, right? So this is the same thing as saying, hey, let's find uh, y, y prime here. This here is more specific. There may be other variables in here besides just x's. So this more specific says we want to take the derivative of y with respect to x, derivative of y with respect to x. What if, we'll throw in something a little extra here, it said this, and this is what you got to really be careful because you might be doing this on all your homework problems, and then all of a sudden on the test it says, hey, find dx over dy. So that means that when you, took the, you take the derivative of x, you're going to write dx over dy next to it, right? Um, they could actually even say some crazy stuff like this, find x prime, be the same thing right is this guy right here so be careful about that dx over dy man that trips people up I'm telling you you gotta watch out damn teachers are crazy out there okay so there we go y prime is equal to negative x over y let's go over here let's see what it says negative x over y so in other words no matter what this is equal to right it's always going to end up being negative x over negative x over y and we're go to math.com. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we're in that section just in case. Another thing, you can uh, leave a message, start up a conversation. I just stuck that up there just now. All right. Okay. Well, good luck.